Hello, friends, and welcome to another episode of Hospitalize Beatty Memorial Hospital. My name is Sean, and when we left off, it was, uh, what do I say here, January of 2017? Wait a minute, that's in the past. Uh, but either way, our hospital is doing fairly well. Somebody threw up on the floor, which is weird, but uh, how are we doing on, uh, okay, so we have 14 people set up here. Uh, now, I've been playing this a little more in between episodes, and one thing that I came to realize... Uh, wait a minute, what's going on here? Oh, somebody left... <laughs> wait, this is in use, but what? Is she being operated on? No? Who's being operated on? Well, whoever's being operated on, they left their cut open chest laying on this uh, table. Which, uh, which is a little weird. Oh, apparently it's this guy in the middle of uh, operation. <laughs> come, come get your chest back, guy. Uh, yeah, some bizarre stuff. You know, we weren't running into these problems uh, previously. Uh, but uh, still having lots of fun with this game. Where was I? Played it some more in between episodes. That's right. And I came to realize that probably ought to go ahead and... and uh, uh, build our x-ray machine. Um, we don't need to wait uh, for the other stuff. We can just build it now. So, um, maybe over here? Can clear out this area over here. Build it in there and see what happens. You know, what else might be fun would be maybe getting an uh, ambulance and a, uh, operating, uh, uh, an emergency operating room. That would be cool. But until we do that, Let's, uh, let's extend this out a little bit. Maybe sell these walls. There we go, expand that hallway. Let them tear down their trees. Get those walls built, very nice, real nice. So I found out that there's a limit to the size of hallways. They can only be so large. So uh, it's a good thing that we're blocking off these hallways and kind of making them uh, separate from one another. And I also found out once you bring in x-rays, people love getting x-rays. Like every patient's gonna want an x-ray once we get them in here. So we want to be conscious of that as well. All right, so this uh, will get us a doctor who will get some social skills. So let's go ahead and assign one of our lousy doctors, lousier doctors to that one. We'll accept that. Get us some cash, get some social skills. Good stuff. Now, time for a story, according to the background music, about a young man who lost his horse and was forced to walk from town to town searching for the love he never knew. It's called Johnny No Horse Falls in Love? Question mark. Starring... Bill Paxton as Johnny No Horse. Uh, yeah, that's all I can get. Still, pretty good, huh? I like that. Just off the top of my head, I thought I was uh, I thought I was dead after the first sentence, actually, and it kept going. That Bill Paxton thing ruined it because he's like 60, and uh, I believe I said a young man at the uh, beginning of uh, at the beginning of the uh, thing. Who would be a young actor? Who's that guy from Twilight? That probably would have been a good, uh, good one to know. Um, even, even somebody like Paul Rust, even though Paul Rust is probably close to my age, at least he's younger than Bill Paxton. <laughs> oh well, the joke worked. I think. I don't know for sure, but I feel like it worked. What do you think? Leave me a note in the comments and let me know. Oh, that reminds me. Speaking of leaving a note in the comments. The developers of this game. So yeah, if you if you made it through that little story about the guy who lost a horse and was forced to wander from town to town finding the love he never knew, um, then you deserve to be eligible for a free copy of this game. The developers of this game were so generous they gave me a couple of keys to give away to the viewers. So I hope you, yes you, the very person hearing me say this right now, I hope you will be the one who will win that free game. So what I need you to do is just leave me a comment on this video. That's all you got to do. Leave me a comment 
and I will draw two names at random from all of the comments left on this video before oh boy when am I gonna post this let's see um, today is uh, June 29th so tomorrow June 30th I'll have the previous episode up episode 3 so July 1st July 2nd so let's say July 6th post on this video before July 6th before the end of the day July 6th and I will draw two names at random and then um, I, I will uh, respond to your comment, let you know you've won, I guess. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, or maybe I'll post a little uh, little video to announce who wins. Um, yep. So, yes, leave your comment on this video and you will be in the drawing for a free copy of this game. And then all you'll need to do is, uh, if you win, I will uh, 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 try to get your email. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll figure it out from there. So um, yeah, thanks for watching you guys. Not that this is the end of the video or anything, but uh, thank you for watching this video. And I hope you're enjoying watching this game being played. And if you are, it's your chance to get a free copy. And that's exciting, isn't it? Very, very nice of the uh, developers of this game to make that offer, considering I have a very small channel with very few people. And uh, giving away two copies of this game is pretty nice. That uh, I mean, there's probably only going to be 60 people that watch this video. Well, there might be 100 that watch it by the time the deadline ends. So you got a pretty good chance. One in 50? It's not bad. All right. We got a doctor. We need another doctor here. You know, we can keep sending this guy. He's going to get really talented. They're going to get skill in general practice. I don't really want to send a surgeon. Let's send this guy. Sure, why not? How about this? Another seminar. Oh, that's the one that we just finished. Cool. Good stuff. All right, so, yep. Um, now I've kind of run out of things to talk about. I did my weird little story based on the music that was playing, and uh, I mentioned the giveaway. Uh, my cat is going crazy. I think we need uh, uh, veterinarian eyes. Vet veteran eyes? Uh, anyways, a, a veterinarian business simulator so I can learn uh, what to do when your cat won't stop crying. If I didn't live in a tiny apartment in the middle of a city, I would let him outside. Because that would probably solve the problem. At least temporarily, because I wouldn't have to hear him crying anymore. Uh, but I can't let him outside. I barely have another room for him to go to. So I kind of just have to uh, kind of just have to deal with it. Now, I hope he doesn't... Uh... Looks like he's going to... Yeah, never mind. Uh, very exciting for you guys, isn't it, to listen to me comment on on what my cat is doing. Uh, no wonder, no wonder you're going to stick around. Probably, uh, I should have saved the uh, uh, promotion for the giveaway until after after I discussed my cat. Oh, uh, maybe next time I will be. I don't, I don't know what I'm saying. Um, so, yep, okay, look at this. We can start putting down x-ray stuff. I can get back to playing the game instead of just vamping like an idiot. All right, there's that. This needs the furniture to make it an x-ray office. What kind of furniture does that need? Well, it needs a desk. But not just a desk. Also a chair. Oh, shit, that's right. The x-ray machine, though, has to be... It's very specific. You can't rotate it. So we'll actually have to be right there. So we're going to store those. Because I think I'm going to have to put the x-ray machine on that side. Takes up a lot of space. All right, very good. And then I will put the desks in like that. And then we'll put the desk chairs. Hopefully there's enough room for all this stuff. <clears throat> Those rooms aren't tiny, but they're not huge. Um, I guess we'll find out if people are having trouble getting around. I think we'll be all right. Okay, so uh, we are going to designate rooms, designate, boom, x-ray, radiography x-ray. Uh-huh, let's click on this next room, bam, and finally, Boom. Binga, banga, boom, 
bonga. Oh, and look at that. We still got a ton of cash because we probably did like six surgeries during the uh, during the time we were getting those set up. Now what's everybody waiting for? Antihistamus treatment? What? Okay, what was her diagnose? Allergy. She's been hospitalized because of her allergy? Goodness gracious. And we've charged her almost $800 so far. Just buy an antihistamine, young lady. Let's see if any nurses start using these uh, x-ray machines or if they get flummoxed by not being able to get in there. Now, how many of my nurses have radiography? Oh, look at this. We're going to spare our... Oh, I wanted to spare the surgeon that's terrible. This guy, you should not be doing surgery, Dr. Turner. You are a terrible surgeon. I would like to remove you from doing surgery. <laughs> That's, that would be kind of nice. I could micromanage who does what surgery and all those things. But, um, okay, uh, well, he's, okay, yeah, you know what, let's change it. Can I change it? I can't change it, it's too late. Don't stop or we'll die, or he'll die. Hmm, oh well, I guess the show must go on, huh? Even though the other doctor would have been much more competent, competent. As th this is not a doctor's office. This is just a, a, a lab or laboratory, huh? We have two more doctor's offices up here. They were waiting for patients. Got it. All right. I just want to see. I just want to see if the X-ray thing works, because that's kind of the main thing here. A diagnosis of the appendicitis. Remove appendicitis surgery. Why well, he's hospitalized, but they're not throwing him into a uh, they're not throwing him into a uh, bed which is weird notable diarrhea all right now this this one is going to get an x-ray and has apparently been hospitalized so you get a room okay and it looks like they can use their x-ray machines that is good news how many of my nurses can do the x-ray thingy. I scroll down here to nurse radiographer. We have one, two, three, three of them. So I probably ought to get a couple more. Applicant, nurse, that one. Well, that's the only one with radiography experience. So we're going to take that because we're going to have a lot more radiography stuff. Pretty much all those things count. Oh, this one's a radiographer and a pharmacist. Hmm. Oh, we're gonna have a lot of tests here soon, don't worry. You know, one thing I forgot to do, set a timer. Oh, I did set the timer, I just paused it for some bizarre reason. Let's zoom in a little closer here. This'll do. Screenshot time. All right, let's speed up that clock. I'm not sure what kind of, how I would describe this music. Uh, well, I would describe it as over, apparently. It was a cold winter's day in the Beatty Memorial Hospital. A woman was waiting for her x-ray. Little did she know they would find a tooth inside her heart. Ah, oh, I couldn't think of the actress's name in time. Too bad. What's the, she was in the movie with this thing. Uh, dang it. The only movie I can think of she was in was The Man Who Wasn't There. And that's probably the least popular of all of her movies. She's so famous. She's in the Avengers movies. And plays one of the Avengers. Ah, dang it. She's got a very unique look, and she's, she's super beautiful. Anyways, she has a tooth in her heart. Isn't that crazy? It's really gross. I don't know how that would have happened. And it's a really sad movie, because she also falls in love with the nurse. It's a male nurse. I don't, you know, I don't know why there's no male nurses in this game. It's very, uh, 
uh, kind of a limited uh, limited tile set for uh, for their uh, patients and um, doctors and staff of all sorts. Um, I believe Europeans made this game, so um, you know I, I'm not going to be too critical of the uh, lack of diversity, shall we say? Uh, because they're Europeans and, you know, they don't know any better. Um, but, uh, yeah, we're going to pretend that uh, some of these nurses are men. Because, like, some of the nurses at my mom, mom's physical therapy thingy at the hospital, they're men. Mom doesn't like them, though. She likes the women nurses. She gets really mad when a male nurse comes in. And that's that's the sad music story the, the tragedy of the male nurse how difficult their life is it's bad enough that they're a man and have the advantages of manhood they also have to work with a bunch of women <laughs> be like the one man among ten women must be awful alright I'm just going I'm just going in, into crazy town here oh my gosh look at all the money we have Probably because we haven't been doing anything. Oh, I'll probably be back. Well, that's good. Thanks for your recommendation, you know? Are you going to go home and eat like a, a, a triple cheeseburger with bacon or something? Why would you think that you're probably going to be back? That's not... The hospital is not really somewhere you, you want to hope to return to soon. Like, a, a good recommendation would be... I had such a ex pleasant experience at the hospital... Hopefully I'll never return. Based on my experience, you'll never see me again because I'm going to be so healthy from now on. I don't get excited. Someone might return to my hospital. All right. Um, you know what else we could use? Maybe another restroom. Because we have that one. And I, I mean, I guess it seems to be enough. It doesn't... We don't seem to have any problems running short on restrooms or anything. But... Like... The hospital I've been visiting, there's only one restroom, like for like 40 guests or whatever. Because <clears throat> there's like 20 patients in the area where my mom is. And, you know, if each patient has two people coming to visit, that's 40 people and there's one restroom. It's really weird. Anyway, so I want these guys to be better off than, uh, than we are at the Salem Hospital. So let's put in a couple of restrooms here. We're actually going to turn that existing restroom into a hallway because it is the correct width for a hallway so but you know what? I probably should not over over assign their responsibilities because it seems like we only get like eight of those construction workers and that's like the one type of person that we can't hire more of they're getting uh, getting very very busy with those x-rays though, huh? They love, love them x-rays. Those nurses, I hope they're worth it. Um, can we hire more nurses yet? Yeah, hey, there's a radiography nurse. Hire, you're hired. You're hired. It's terrible. It's supposed to be Donald Trump, I guess. I don't blame you for not, <clears throat> not knowing. Even I didn't know. Clean all those shrubberies and whatnot out. Get them out of there. Plants. We don't need your plants. Blech. Blech! More walls and tiles for me, I say. Stupid plants. Go make somebody else sick. I'm not quite going to build that yet, though. I want to hold off a little. Oh, is that a, that had to have been a patient that went into that restroom, not a nurse. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to lay down some sick beats. Wait, no, that's what the game is going to do. I'm going to lay down <clears throat> some chairs. And turn these hallways into waiting rooms. Yeah, waiting rooms. Where you sit and wait. Yeah, oh yeah. 
That's the ticket for waiting when your loved one's sick. If you're sick and you need somewhere to stay, the waiting room is the way to wait for your sick one to get better. Baby, you know it. The waiting room is the great place to wait in a room with magazines and a calendar and a board. But no magazines, not in this game. You're waiting. It's a waiting room. Aw, yeah. Break it down. I am uh, really crazy with the improv today. <clears throat> I hope you stuck around after I did that uh, giveaway announcement so you can enjoy all the hilarious fun. Oh, so much fun we're having today. And only partly because this is a really fun game. The other part is because apparently I've gone insane. Now that sort of almost rhymed. Not really, but kind of in a way. And it wasn't even like me trying to continue my little weird song that I was doing there briefly. Alright, where's our um, door? There we go. Door. And we're going to put that into storage. Gross. I don't really want to store a toilet, but I'm going to. And we're going to run the wall along like that. Or the wall. The hall along like that. And we'll run it up like this. I'm not really sure how we're going to do that, but I'm going to can't sell those spots. And, um, <clears throat> excuse me, boy, oh boy. So if we go one, two, three, one. All right, that's good. I like that. Maybe I'll put some more restrooms in there or something. Run you like that. We're going to sell that. Sell that. Okay, how about I click on a different square? There we go. Um, we're going to go sanitation, toilet, toilet. Can I double up on the toilets? Hmm. Find out. Extra toilets. <coughs> Good for extra bathroom stuff. I almost said action, but that's kind of gross. I don't really want to hear about bathroom action, even under the best of circumstances. So I don't, I don't know why. Why would you bother with uh, with electronic doors when the non-electronic doors seem to be working just fine? A lot of stuff in our storage drop-off area too. A bizarre. That truck really loves to come and go. Now let's, um... A notifications thing. Oh, look at this. I... Oh, transparency. Never mind. I thought we could set up, like, what all we would see and how often and all that. Oh, boy. I'm just thinking how glad I am that I didn't try to keep up that, uh... Keep up, uh, improvising that song the whole time. It was a really long song. And that's the end! Oh. Now this sounds like a very heartbreaking song about a cat who wouldn't stop crying and his owner had to take drastic measures. Are you listening, Mr. Bigglesworth? It's a tragedy. Oh, but it sounds like it has a uh, surprisingly uh, upbeat twist <laughs> towards the end of that supposed tragedy, huh? Alright, we're gonna sell that. We're gonna continue building the walls. Boy, I hope you guys, I hope uh, a lot of people watch this episode. A lot of my regulars because I gotta say I've been pretty funny, I think. I've definitely entertained myself with uh, with some of that stuff, like yelling at my cat. Come on, that makes for that makes for uh, oh shit, you guys are stuck. That makes for amazing uh, YouTube videos. I mean, people love cats, right? Aren't cats supposed to be like one of the most uh, relevant things you could put in a in a YouTube video? So if cats are the super relevant and people like it when people go crazy and yell, I mean, how could we go wrong with yelling at your cat? It's a win-win, as far as I'm concerned. 
Although I don't know that this is really the right song for that. All right, uh, we need to get going on meeting that actual mission. It'd be nice if we accomplished something before the uh, episode was over with. Uh, so we've got this MRI, which takes up quite a bit of space. Put in a couple of those. Actually, you know what? Let's put in three, why not? Oh boy, I know why not, because they're a quarter of a million dollars each. That's so much money. But we will offer the best MRIs in town, I say. We've got beautiful offices set up for each one. MRI to your heart's content. All right, great. MRIs done. Um, uh, a, uh, uh, is there something else we need in there? Uh, wow, apparently they don't even need a desk. That doesn't make any sense. Desk and office chair. Okay, good. And CT scanner, CT scanner, desk and office chair. Very nice. We'll put CT scanners in these rooms. Um, I need to designate these hallways as waiting rooms. Nobody has done that yet. Also kind of make them staff rooms if we wanted to. Staff doesn't seem to care whether there's snacks or stuff available. They can wait, wait in the hallway with all the riffraff, all the common folks. Could use some more coffee machines, I guess. Why not? People like coffee. Well, I mean, I found out there was a open spot for me to get coffee at the hospital. Oh, it's one of the best parts of going to the hospital, except that drinking all that coffee probably made me really anxious. Caused me to get into fights with my dad. <laughs> or it didn't necessarily cause it, but it uh, <clears throat> encouraged me. Kept me from... Encouraged me to lose my cool. You guys can only imagine what it's like for me to lose my cool. Uh, if, you've seen me, if you've seen me play RimWorld, you've heard me get upset about something probably at some point. Alright, there's a hallway. Yeah, that's a white wall. Got it. Water closet. I'm not sure why... I mean, you have to assume that they're going to introduce other colors of wall at some point. Because otherwise, just calling it a white wall, it's like, yeah, I get it. All the walls in here are white. What are you trying to tell me? Look at all these toilets we're going to put in here. Oh, it's going to be... It's going to be peeing heaven in this hospital. Not only can you go pee wherever you want, we also have a bunch of labs that would analyze that for you if for some reason that was necessary. Oh, sell that. Wild green bush. I'd like to see a um, uh, like a domestic green bush or a domestic leaf tree. Thank you. I'll be here all night. Oh, we are just about done. Hey, that's what that timer means. Alright guys. Um, you remember what I said earlier on in the video, right? Leave me a comment. I would love to hear what you have to say. If you do leave me a comment, you will be in that drawing. July 7th, I will draw to decide two people who are going to get free keys to this game. So you can be one of them. Just leave your name in the comments. Thank you so much. I hope you've had fun watching. This is one of the most fun times I've ever had making a video, which is bizarre considering I've got like... 900 whatever almost a thousand videos at this point um but uh, you know that's how it goes sometimes you just get really caught off guard and have a great time without even recognizing or without even planning for it or something i don't know what i'm trying to say here um also i don't know how to stop let me get out of this let me stop please this game's too fun i can't stop um, all right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.